Hi, this is my video on the Yung Tang selfie stick tripod for smartphone and this model is the VCT-992 selfie stick Bose that it has a 360 degree fluid panning, a swift quick connect, a steady sure grip rubber feet, extendable stem and lightweight. Now in the box you get the selfie stick itself, a remote control, a, a bag, carrying bag, and also the instruction manual. This is how the Yun Teng looks uh, when it's out the box. Now its total collapse length is nine inches. It is mainly made out of metal, which is the legs here. We have some plastic and the actual stem is made out of aluminium with the clamp at the top, which is a unique clamp, but I'll come to that later on, which is made out of plastic. Now I'll start off with the top first, and we have this unique clamp that is all plastic construction with a metal screw in there. And I have to say this clamp is very unique because out of all the selfie sticks that I reviewed, I've never seen a clamp like this. It has a vice type style clamp, not like a, a G clamp, for your phone which comes down that way. So we have this unique clamp. Next we come down to, we have this GoPro style mounting system here with its own small thumb screw, as you can see. And it is a mini thumb screw that we have there. And this is also on a plastic mount. Next we have the stem or pole itself. And this is made out of aluminium and it has these white collars on there which are made out of plastic. Then we come down to where the stem comes to the base here, or uh, technically the handle or the legs of this selfie stick tripod. And we have this kind of plastic here where the stem comes into, and it comes down to these metal legs. Now the legs are not aluminium, they are made out of metal, and they have a nice firm firmness to them. Now I know, metal is firm anyway but what I'm trying to say that the legs are well constructed and I have to say and there is some stiffness when pulling out the legs now whether that will go the more you use it the only time can tell and we come down to this nice I have to say it's I would say it's the second biggest um, remote that you get that I've ever reviewed on a selfie stick but the unique thing with this remote is that it actually clamps onto the leg because it has its own little clamp. Now it's, as you can see, and it simply snaps on to any leg. And we have the Yun Tang, or Yun Tang uh, name brand on the side of one of the legs and the actual mother number right next to it. Now we come down to the bottom and we have these rubber legs on each of these legs which do not have any grip on there, but the rubber is, I have to say, it's quite sticky. And there's kind of like a stickiness to this on each of these legs. Uh, looking at the clamp system on the selfie stick, this has a very unique clamp system because normally, traditionally, most selfie sticks have a clamp system which clamps down. So you put your phone in there and you clamp down from the top to the and to the bottom and it clamps your phone holds it like this and the yun tang they have this kind of clamping system which is a vice type clamping system now you simply place your phone in there and you turn with this screw here you turn and it pushes your phone forward and as I says it clamps it like a vice so it has a vice clamping system the actual width of the clamp on here is just a little over one centimeter or in inches just over half an inch now that's wide enough for most phones with their cases on now if you have an heavy duty case on there or a very thick case, such as the Griffin Survivor 
or the utter box defender, you're going to have problems with this kind of clamp system on there. Another thing to point out is this clamp is more suitable to hold your phone in a landscape position rather than a portrait position. You can put it into portrait, but I suggest don't walk around too much with it in portrait because as you can see on there, the teeth don't exactly come that far up the phone um, to literally hold it in a landscape, I'm sorry, in the portrait position. So this more in favors the landscape position. It does have rubber on the back of the clamp here. On the, well, you can say on the jaws of the clamp, they have a, it has a rubber on the back and the two points here also have rubber on them. There is no rubber on the base of the clamp whatsoever. It all, it, the clamp comes down to this GoPro style mounting system and you get this very small thumb screw. Now, yes, you can put a GoPro style camera on there or a GoPro camera on this mount itself. Uh, this is how it looks when you've got an action camera on there of any description, whether it's a GoPro or not, as long as it has the Go, uses the GoPro system on there, you can fit it on there. Now, one thing you gotta bear in mind, it is very fiddly um, to place any action camera using the GoPro mount on there because this is a proprietary screw, uh, thumb screw. You can't place a standard size GoPro thumb screw. I tried it and it doesn't seem to fit. So the screw and the screw thread must be a smaller um, screw <laughs> thread. So this is a smaller thumb, thumb screw that uses a smaller screw thread. But as you can see, it does butt up right up against the bottom of the GoPro. So it all depends on your mounting system on which action camera that you have, because some fingers on action cameras are longer than others. Uh, this is how it looks when it's fully extended. The legs double up as a handle and fully extended. They claim that the actual total length is 45 inches. Now it is 45 inches and it's very difficult to get this into shot folks, believe me. That's from the very bottom to the very top of the actual clamp. It's 45 inches extends to. Now, you know, in my videos, I don't go by that because you lose inches off the top when it comes to the mount and you lose inches off the bottom where the handle is stroke fit legs. So I normally go between the actual proper extension length of the stem itself. So which is from the top of the handle to the bottom of the mount and between these two lengths, it is 37 inches that it extends out to. So now this is where I do my wobble test. And folks, I'm gonna to have to say this, it does give the impression when fully extended that it wants to snap. It won't snap, but it, it has that kind of feeling that it wants to snap. And it's mainly to do with the top two sections. They feel, because the most weight is where your phone is and this clamp, even though it's plastic, the most of the weight is at the top end here and the two sections at the bottom are the thinnest sections. They are, the, especially the top section is one of the thinnest I've seen on a um, selfie stick. It does give the impression like it wants to snap up here. But all in all, from where your hand is to all the way up to this section here, this feels quite sturdy. This particular selfie stick extends out into seven sections which each section has these collars, these plastic collars that are colored in white. Now, I've always said this, I don't know why. Here's what I found. Sorry about that folks, my Siri started up. Um, I, I've always said this, I don't know why these manufacturers insist to use white plastic collars in between each section. It does give the impression of that the selfie stick is cheap. But all in all, it's a nice aluminium and it is coated in a nice matte black finish on this stem. It does have a seam 
running up the front and also a seam running down from the back so we have that in there this particular stem does come out so when I spray the legs out here you can see that the actual end or very first section goes right comes right out and has this nice cap on there to enclose it because some of these um, selfie sticks have a kind of too much of a thick plastic um, end to them and that sticks out even when it's fully extended out but this has a nice flat one there and it does have a locking system here a little lock here so when you bring it down to the legs it locks into the legs here uh, this is the remote that you get from the, with the Yunteng and this is as I stated before is the second longest and biggest remote shutter button that I ever got with any of these selfie stick tripods now I do like the way it looks it has this kind of rectangular shape to it we it's made out of all plastic construction as I stated before I like how it has this clamping system on the back so you can clamp it to any of the legs on the Yunteng now I'll just quickly run through we have this silver button here and that is actually the button the shutter button itself we have an LED light at the very top so shutter button LED light at the very top on the side here it is one of the first shutter buttons I've come across where it actually has an on and off switch now you have to use this on and off switch there is no timer on this remote also with the literature it doesn't even state whether there, um, there is a timer and how to get to the timer on there so I'm just saying there's no timer on there and also it doesn't tell you the milliamp and how long to charge this shutter button for because it does not use a coin cell battery it does use it does have its own built-in um, battery but it doesn't state on any of the literature and even in the description what the milliamp and how long to charge this battery whatsoever but it does have a USB B socket here and what I did forget to mention is it does come with its cable from USB to standard USB USB B to standard USB you do get one of them it's a short cable you do get a little loop at the top so you can attach this to a lanyard if you want or to a key ring now to pair this remote to your mobile phone is very very easy now if you've got a phone that uses an Android based system on the phone first of all go to your Bluetooth make your phone discoverable because if you don't make it discoverable <laughs> It will not see the remote when it comes to pairing so make so do that first now for Apple users or iOS users you simply go to Bluetooth make sure your Bluetooth's on then with the shutter button you switch it on when you switch it on the LED up here will flash in blue that means it's in a pairing mode you go back to your phone the word Yunteng will come up you press that the word Yunteng and then it will ask the pair now you don't need any codes nor passwords just simply press pair and it will pair with this remote now when it comes to taking a picture using the remote um, shutter button on any of these um, selfie sticks some mute the sound of the shutter button click on your phone some do not now we'll see if this one mutes the sound on there and you can actually if you can hear it so we're going to do a photograph first so if I press the shutter button no it doesn't mute the sound so I'll try it in video and it doesn't mute the sound now the very last thing I want to cover about with this particular shutter button is when you charge it there will be a red LED up there 
Now I've charged it for an hour and that red LED still stays on. Now, um, to me, it, the LED stays on even when it's charging. So if you happen to charge this and the LED goes off, please make a note down in the comment section how long it took for that because I have charged it even just over an hour and placed it all night and that LED still stays on. So I don't know if it's the fault of this particular um, shutter button or what. It didn't feel any warm to the touch or whatever. Luckily like the battery in here was overheating whatsoever but the LED to me did not come off. This is how the Yunteng looks when it's fully extended. Now this particular selfie stick tripod comes with a huge warning if you're going to use this outside fully extended. Because of the legs has this kind of isosceles triangle look to them. The footprint of these legs, are, it's really small. It's just under um, six inches, the footprint, which gives this a kind of unsteady feeling. And even I'm talking to you now on the floorboards here, the, there is a wobble to this. So for fully extended for outdoor use, don't use it. If you're gonna have it for outdoor use and you've bought it for that, I will keep it at halfway or a quarter of the way. I know that sounds bad, uh, especially when it can extend for this uh, length, but it's not suitable for outside. Now, even though on the B-roll, you can see I've had it fully extended outside. I had to put that in certain positions and wait to when the wind died down. Well, the breeze died down because it, because of this iPhone 12 mini on there, it, it really want, it was wobbling. And that's an iPhone 12 mini on there. So if you have anything bigger than that, then you're gonna have problems. Now, this is the part of the video where I give my two pens worth. Now I'm gonna start off with the negatives first. Now, the biggest negative, I would have to say is the clamp part, but even bigger than that has to be the legs here. I like how they got the rubbers on the bottom, which is good and uh, to give it grip. But this thing to me is not an outdoor selfie stick tripod um, because the actual foot print this makes is very, very narrow because it has an isosceles triangle type stance to these legs. I do like the construction of the legs, how they are th metal rather than plastic, but because it has such a narrow footprint when fully extended, even in a slight breeze with a small phone such as the iPhone 12 mini, uh, this thing wanted to tip over. So you can have it for outside if you want to, but as I suggested, just keep it for halfway or a quarter of the way don't have it fully extended out. Now the second negative, which would have been the first one if the feet didn't let it down, has to be with this vice-like grip. Now I like in one respect how they gone with the vice grip instead of this kind of G clamp lift that clamps your phone down that way. But what lets it down by having the vice type grip is the length of the teeth on the vice itself. They're a little bit too short. It's suitable if your phone is in landscape, that's no problem. But when your phone is in portrait, you don't really want to walk around with this in a portrait mode, uh, with your phone being in portrait. It's all right to take the odd shots in portrait, clamp it to this, take your shot, reposition the phone back to landscape. But if you want to carry it around in portrait, I suggest don't because the teeth are just a little bit short. They just needed to be a centimeter more would have been better. Next negative has to be with the actual um, remote. Now, not on, on the workings of the remote to operate with your camera, that's no problem. Not even the size, that's no problem. What it is is there's no literature explaining what size battery is in this remote? How long does it take to charge this remote? 
nothing like that whatsoever. So I can't give you any advice um, to say, well, you can charge it for. And now for the positives. First positive has to be with this clamping system. Even though I put it in the negative, but I do give it a positive as well. I like how you have this kind of vice grip, so you can simply just loosen and just pull your phone out instead of fidgeting around with a clamping system. So that's a positive. It has to be, it uses a GoPro style mounting system with this thumb screw. So making adjustments for the phone to look towards you or away from you is quite easy to use and that you can use a action camera on there. And the last positive has to be with the last or first stem, uh, first section of the stem. I like how it can go all the way down and it's a bit difficult, that's it. Can go all the way, well, up if you want uh, on this last section. And it has a little lock system here to let you know when it's locked into the actual legs or handle part of the selfie stick tripod. Now this is my overall conclusion on the Yunteng VCT-992. Now I'll put this in the fair category and I'll put it in the category of this is a kind of selfie stick tripod you want to take on holiday and if you lose it and forget it, you're not losing much. I think it's a little bit overpriced for $17.99. This really should be a uh, $12.99 product, if anything. So it's a bit overpriced. One thing I forgot to mention is I do like how they give you this nice little drawstring bag made of nylon to go with your selfie stick, so that's good. Things that do let it down, which I'll point out to already, but almost lost it there, folks. I wish you, if Yung Teng is look, listening or looking at this video, um, you need to place in there some description of the battery size that's in this and how long to charge it because there's nothing, no instruction or anything in there telling you about that. Now, if you happen to have the Yunting VCT-992, <laughs> almost forgot that one, folks. Please leave that in the comment section what your opinions are about it because your opinions are different to my opinions. So leave that down in the comment section. Thanks for watching the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. I perfectly understand my videos can be long, but I like to go into detail on the item or the product. So when you get it, you know what to expect. Please subscribe to my channel if you like the channel. I'll be grateful for that. And I'll see you next time.